I've imported a project and I have a whole slew of errors, beginning with action bar activity cannot be resolved to type, R cannot be resolved to variable. So what I need is this thing called an app compat library for uh, support V7. And it just so happens I have one here already. I'm going to delete this and re-import it so that you can watch the process. I'm not going to delete the source. So I'm just going to delete the project. And we'll give that just one moment. Okay, what I need to do to import the project is I need to figure out where my Android SDK is installed. That's easy. Go to Windows Preferences, select Android, and you see here it's C Programs Android, Android SDK. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to choose File and Import, and I'm going to say Existing Android Code into Workspace. Uh, I'm going to browse this directory, Android SDK. I have to dig a little bit deep here to find it. It's going to be Android SDK, Extras, Android, Compatibility, V7, uh, App Compat. That, that's close enough to get us where we want to go. Again, our SDK location, which we get from Windows Preferences Android, that takes us to this level, Android SDK. From there we go to Extras, Android, Compatibility, App Compat. Uh, and that, that will take us close enough under V7. I select this, and you notice that it wants to import this project called uh, V7 App Compat. That's great. I choose Finish. We'll give this just a moment. And now you see we have Am Android Support V7 App Compat loaded into our workspace. Now what I need to do is go to Picture Application, and I'm going to choose Properties. And I'm sorry, I realized that one's off screen. I'm going to go to Android. And what we see here is towards the bottom, there is a section called Library. And what it is is the author of this project has specified an App Compat V7 library, which is great. But it is local to uh, that person's computer, more than likely. So I'm going to choose, or it's named whatever that person named it, maybe not the same name as mine. So I'm going to choose Remove. I'm going to choose Add. And there we go, there's my Android support v7 app compat. I'm going to choose OK, and now we see it puts the project with the name that I've given it in my path. I select OK, and uh, we might have one more. No, it looks like we're, we're pretty good there. So we'll give this a moment to refresh. And we're still having some issues because it says it cannot find this uh, action bar activity. That's because we have another support library that's here in the way, this Android Support V4. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove this. Uh, let's see, I will go to Build Path, Configure Build Path. And we're going to choose Projects, Libraries, Android Dependencies. Uh, I'm going to remove this one, this App Support V7. And we're going to choose OK. And then I'm going to delete Android Support V4. And again, give it a moment to refresh. Many times this will resolve the issue. Uh, in this particular project, it's being a bit stubborn and still it's having trouble identifying this action bar activity. So if you've gotten to this point and you still can't resolve it, there's one last thing that we can do. Go to Build Path, Configure Build Path, and from here go to Projects, choose Add, and then choose that App Support and add it as a dependent project. Choose OK, and give it a moment to refresh, and we should be in good shape. This is the worst case. Typically, when you simply add the App Compat as a library, usually that will take care of the issue. This project is just one that's particularly stubborn. So if you're having issues, if you continue to have issues after adding that library, add it directly to the build path. But 90% of the time, uh, adding the library is a pro as a uh, property. Uh, the right click, as I showed before, right click and then properties, and then Android. Um, if we scroll to uh, here, choose Android. Typically, adding it here will resolve it. This one just happened to be a bit stubborn. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, we're also going to have a recording on what to do when you see cannot find source. So that's coming up next. Thank you.